Welcome to Google Your Way to Research Success. Before I get to Google, I need to talk about the research process. A quote attributed to Confucius says, to know what you know and what you do not know, that is true knowledge. A common saying similarly states that you should always begin your research by proceeding from what you know to what you do not know. Research is not just some esoteric subject confined to academic professionals. Stripped of all the complex analysis, research is nothing more or less than asking questions. Once we begin to search for the answers to our questions, we are doing research. A more complex definition of research is the creation of new knowledge and or the use of existing knowledge in a new and creative way so as to generate new concepts, methodologies, and understandings. Our research efforts end when we find the answer. We are then able to use the answer to begin another round of research, or change the question and begin again to try and answer the next question. Depending on the subject, research really never ends. Google LLC is an American multinational technology company that specializes in interrelated services and products, which include online advertising. The company is best known for its search engine. A search engine is a program that searches for and identifies items in a database or website that correspond to keywords or characters specified by the user used especially for finding information on the internet. Google searches for text on billions of websites across the internet. Let's get started with an example of a search. To start out, think of what might be online in a website that will answer your question. You can also simply try typing your question into the Google search field. What you enter becomes the basis for Google's search engine to find websites with the same or similar terms. Here is an example of a simple question. Enter those terms into the Google search field. Examine the search results. You may need to read through several pages to find the answer you're looking for. But if you have to search more than one or two pages, you probably need to rephrase your question or come up with different search terms. It is possible to search for something that cannot be found, but that is unlikely to happen. What will happen is that you will get so many responses that you will be overwhelmed. In this case, there were over 12 million results, but most of the information I needed was on the first page. Vary the search and repeat it if you don't find what you're looking for. The order of terms is important. Try different combinations of your search terms. Also use the information you get from each search to focus subsequent searches or refine your search to your real question. Searching online and in libraries and archives are all skills that are learned by repetition over time. If you want to search for very technical information, you will probably have to learn the vocabulary used by the particular area you are searching. For example, if you want to search for biological information about the naked mole rats, you might want to learn some biological terms to use for searching. You use the search results to give you additional information for future searches. Because research is a learned skill, the more you search, the more you will find. You need to continually ask more questions and learn from the answers. Of course, the more complicated and involved your questions, the more difficult it will be to find answers. At some point, understanding the question may be difficult. Don't forget the systematic part of research. You need to record your findings and use the new information to formulate new questions. When you find an answer, write it down or record it in some way. 
informal research situations, always cite your sources. Give attribution to those who supply new or innovative ideas. Just a note, randomly surfing the internet is not research. If you're looking without a specific goal or question, you are essentially wasting your time. Internet tourists are not researchers. Of course, the whole idea is to keep focused on the questions you are trying to resolve and keep looking for answers. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.